We're back, you guys, but Kenny doesn't look too happy. Hey, so you want to talk about it? About what? About what happened back there in the attic. No. You sure, man? I mean, river's right up ahead. Okay, I got it. I got it. You don't want to talk. Son now. of a bitch! That bastard's fucking with us again. It's another trap. No, listen. That's not the same bell as before. This one's further off. Whatever it is, it's gonna get the dead moving over there. They are helping what us. What the hell is going on? I have no idea, but someone must be ringing those bells. Whatever, man. I find whoever's doing that, I'll ring their motherfucking bell for them. Good one. Hmm. Let's keep moving. Still nothing moving behind us. I think we're... Oh my god. There's gotta be a boat. There's gotta be. Are you sure about that? Doesn't look like it to me. Maybe we need to start thinking about a plan B. This is the plan! It's the only one we've got, and you pissing on it in front of everyone like you did back at the house ain't exactly helping. Well, screw you. I ain't giving up that easy. Pissing on it? When did I piss on the plan? I said that we should stay at the house temporarily. This one might still be salvageable. You better be right about this. I said it might be. Give me a fucking break. I'm a fishing captain, not a miracle worker. I'll check it out. You look further along the waterfront. Maybe there's something at the other end. I don't think we should split up too far. We don't have to. See that telescope? You can see all the way along the waterfront from right here. See what you can find. Okay. Man, makes me sad that Kenny's upset at me, but I think, oh, my gosh. Um. These all bodies. Fuck, what is this meant to be? Some kind of warning? Do something like this. Oh my gosh. Definitely not going to shoot them. Great. Needs a quarter to work. You got a quarter? Who's got a quarter? Definitely not going to shoot him. Hello, beautiful. Empty. Yeah, that would have been too easy. Even the quarters? Don't want to go that way too much. Still some zombies walking around. Locked. <gasps> hey. Big brain. Look at that. Just smack things with a wrench. Yeah, 
definitely not shooting those walkers. Fuck! What's up with the boat? It ain't gonna work. Hull's cracked beneath the waterline, plus someone stripped out the battery. You can't fix it? What the... what the hell is that? A fate worse than death. Abandoned, like every other place in this city. No sign of any boots down there. No way that one's salvageable. Nothing but water. Not a boat to be seen. Did I miss something? What the hell? That's the person who's been ringing the bells. Get down! Get down! Someone came down from that building at the end of the street. Where'd he go? Saw him run into that newsstand. Could be our bell ringer. How about we go find out? We didn't come here looking for trouble. Yeah, well, it seems to have a way of finding us anyways. Look, this could be the guy from the radio. The one who's been messing with us. If he is, we can put an end to it. Right now. Okay, you head up the middle of the street. I'll go around the side, cover your flank. We'll come up on him quiet, take him by surprise. We just want to talk to this guy. Oh, we're gonna talk. Uh, this is... How did Kenny run that fast? Jeez. This is not gonna work out well, I know it. Something bad's gonna happen. Yep. Something bad's gonna happen. What the? Ah. <laughs> 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 oh. 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 Clementine? Clem? Please, don't hurt him! <sighs> You're not from Crawford. You're not the guy on the radio. I'm not a guy at all. Full marks for observation. <laughs> Kenny, don't! No, he's with us! How are you people? Everyone just calm down. I'll calm down once she tells me who the fuck she is. Back off, asshole. The name's Molly. Molly? I'm Lee. This is Kenny and Clementine. We're not looking for any trouble. Hi. You guys really aren't from Crawford, are you? That is. Everything beyond that barricade. What the hell happened here? You sure you want to know? Yeah, I do. When everything started going to shit, some people got together and sealed off that whole neighborhood. Folks willing to do anything to stay alive, stop the dead getting in. I try to avoid them. Why? 
Let's just say they have a zero-tolerance policy for anyone who won't or can't live by their rules. So how'd you know we weren't them? Because there are no children in Crawford. Not anymore. Do you know who's been rigging those bells all over town? Yeah, that would be me. I knew it! Lee, I knew she was the one who'd been following us! Fucking with us! Get that finger out of my face, Grandpa, before I jam it straight up your ass. <laughs> I haven't been following you. I don't even know who the hell you people are. Calm down, Kenny. The voice on the radio was a guy, remember? Yeah, well, whoever you are, ringing those bells this morning nearly got us all killed. Raise the dead all around us. That's the idea, genius. It's how I get around. I ring a bell in one neighborhood to attract the local geeks towards it. Buys me some time to scavenge the areas they cleared out. Geeks? Is that what you call them? Yeah, you know, like at the carnival? They'll eat anything, alive or dead. That's pretty smart. <laughs> Doesn't take much to outsmart the dead. Bunch of dumbasses. You just gotta move fast. Get in and out before they start to wander back again. What do you mean, no children? Why not? No children, no elderly, no one with an advanced medical condition. Basically, no one who might be a burden on the community. Crawford's all about the survival of the fittest. That's how they survived, while the rest of the world went to shit around them. Jesus Christ. Well, just the opposite when you think about it. That's not how our group does things. You're not saying they actually... I mean, I mean, kids? No, the children, they just forced to leave. Along with their parents. Left them to fend for themselves out here in the world. Why? Like I said, zero tolerance. Crawford got rid of anyone that couldn't pitch in, pull their own weight. The way they looked at it, those people were just a lot of useless mouths to feed. A drain on their precious resources. That's horrible. Like, kids grow up. Everyone in Savannah knew. What was going on inside Crawford got passed around like a ghost story. Except this one was true. Look, I'm gonna ask you people again. You're not from Crawford, so who the hell are you? What are you doing here? Came down here looking for a boat, hoping to get our people out of here and find someplace safe. Yeah, good luck with that. Anyone with a boat took it out of here as soon as people started eating each other. Any that got left behind, Crawford stripped them for parts. Cars, too. There's gotta be something. If there was, do you think I'd still be here? I've been over every inch of this city. This whole place is picked clean. God damn it! Fuck! Hey, moron, you wanna keep your voice down? Shit. Since you're not getting on any boat, I'd advise you folks to go back to where you came from before. Great. Just wait. Isn't that the way we came? Fuck. Gunshot must have brought him back. Isn't there another way back to the house? Bob, is there a. Jeez. Is there another way out of here? Don't know, don't care. So what the hell are we supposed to do? I refer you to my previous answer. But you have to help us, please. <sighs> Come on, make it fast. Just get us out of the street and you can do whatever you want after that. Come on, come on, hurry! Just threw Kenny up there. Lee, come on! Oh man, one good jump. Oh come on, Kenny. No, come on, let's push this out of the way. Why can't we just climb over it? Oh great. Uh, time's looking short for me, you guys. Come on, Lee! Get your ass out of there! <laughs> God! Can't get it open! 
Here, use that to pry it open. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Stop it! Okay, then don't stop it. Clementine, can you hear me? If you can hear me, just get back to the house, okay? I'll meet you there. Do I still have her pick? Shit. How the heck am I supposed to do anything in the sewers? I do have to pick, okay. something I want to be doing right now. Be careful, Lee. But I feel like I'm going to slip on some sewage and like hurt myself. Okay. Look at Dead Rat. Pick it up. Ain't touching that. Last thing I need is some god awful disease. Or is it even an op like an option? wrench anymore do I got knocked out it got knocked out of my hands by Molly that's not good what am I supposed to do? oh open passageway okay Come on. you can't pry it open no oh great Gonna get in here. What's in here? I think that's the other door. Uh, I don't know what happens when I turn any of them either way. Don't turn them in that direction. I'm just gonna flood the passageways. Um. Oh, I'm making noise. Shit. I can put on that other one. Making a lot of noise. Okay, let's put this pipe on it. Let's turn on the water and let's get get them uh, get them away from there. Okay, and now let's turn it right. Okay, let's go. Yep, yep, yep. Here they come. I am such a genius. Just gotta wait them out. Come on, you idiots. Gonna 
assume that's it. Yep. <gasps> Is that Chuck? Oh, oh. my God. Chuck. He must have tried to hide out down here. Poor bastard. No bullets. He must have saved the last one for himself. I'm sorry, man. You deserve better, old man. If I shoot, I'm screwed. <gasps> no! I was meant to click the control bar. So stupid. Oh my goodness, that's so stupid. That was not what I meant to do. I just did it fast because she was right in my face. Come on. That's not fair. It's not fair. Oh, never mind. Oh, oh. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Goodness. The hell? Fallout shelter. Must have been one of those old nuclear fallout shelters. Oh my Look at god. All this. It's enough to keep people alive for months. Well, I know where I'm taking the group. This is perfect. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's all right. It's okay. I, I don't want any trouble. Neither do we. Which is why you'd do well to turn around and leave right now. Look, I'm sorry I disturbed you folks. I'll just be going. You can't let him leave. He's from Crawford. If he goes back there and they find out we're down here. Are you from Crawford? They don't lie to me. I know. Where else can he be from? Everywhere else around here is dead. I'm not from around here. I'm from Athens. Grew up in Macon. I have a brother in Macon. You were there? How was it? As bad as here? Macon's gone, I'm man. Sorry. You can't trust him, Vernon. You can't let him leave. What do you want me to do? Shoot him in the head? Why not? Be more of a mercy than anyone from Crawford ever showed us. What? Think, Vernon. What do you think they'll do if they find out we're down here, right under their feet? Damn it. You're right. I'm sorry, friend. Can't take the risk. I'm not from Crawford, but I saw what they did up there. It made me sick. I'm not like them, and I don't think you are either. I think you're a good man. Keep back, or I swear I'll shoot. Come on, man. I told you he's lying. He is one of them. Kill him before he kills us. Oh, was I supposed to grow? Second death. Always these weird things that, like, I didn't know. Okay. Ah, oh, I gotta do it over again? You gotta be kidding me. Who are you? It's all right. It's okay. I, I don't want any trouble. Neither do we. Which is why you'd do well to turn around and leave right now. Look, I'm sorry I disturbed you folks. I'll just be going. You can't let him leave. He's from Crawford. If he goes back there and they find out we're down here... Are you from Crawford? They don't lie to me. I know. Where else can he be from? Everywhere else around here is dead. I came here with a small group hoping to find a boat. We just want to get out of here. How about you just let me go? Ain't no boats around here. Crawford took everything. Yeah, I heard. You can't trust him, Vernon. You can't let him leave. What do you want me to do? Shoot him in the head? Why not? Be more of a mercy than anyone from Crawford ever showed us. 
think, Vernon? What do you think they'll do if they find out we're down here right Crawford. under their feet? Damn it. You're right. I'm sorry, friend. Can't take the risk. I'm not from Crawford, but I saw what they did up there. It made me sick. I'm not like them, and I don't think you are either. I think you're a good man. Keep back, or I swear I'll shoot. It's all right. It's okay. Vernon, what the hell are you doing? Vernon! Relax. I'm not here to hurt you. You're really not from Crawford? No. I'm really not. Well, we are. Or were. We got out of there when they started sealing up the place. You know, started weeding out the sick and the old so their perfect survivor society wouldn't be threatened. No room for weakness or vulnerability in their little master race. You don't look that old, so you're sick? We're sick. We're all members of a cancer survivors group that used to meet here at the hospital. We're in remission. But that wasn't good enough for Crawford. They'd already rounded up five of us before the rest of us managed to hole up and hide from them down here. This old basement's been abandoned for years. What is the morgue? The morgue? Jeez. Yeah. Irony's always high on my list when I'm looking for a place to survive. <laughs> How did you find your way down here? A few of us got boxed in by walkers up on the street. Came down here trying to get away. Now I just want to get out of here and get back to my own people. Well, that sewer system you came through runs all over the city. It'll take you wherever you want to go. Those sewers are like a damn maze. Any chance you could help me find my way back? Look, I'd like to help you, but we've all got our own problems. Two of our group are sick and need constant care, and I'm the only doctor here. Besides, why should we help you? Look, I'm sorry if I scared you. I just want to get back to my people. Back to Clementine. She's your daughter? No. She lost her real parents. I'm doing what I can. You're not seriously considering going with him? It's all right, Bree. I had a daughter, too. Lost her in the first days. I'll be damned if I'll just sit back and let that happen to someone else. We need you here. Don't worry. I'll be back before you know it. Let's go. Okay, I really hope that nothing happens tomorrow. I'm going to feel really bad. I think this guy, you know, I think they're going to be okay. He's, that guy's not looking so good. And that girl. Clementine? Clem? Molly? Oh, hey, you made it back. Can I give Who's her a kickback? This? He didn't tell you about me? Understandable, I guess. I'm the one who put that beating on him when he tried to jump me back at the river. Who's the fossil? Where's Clementine? She's around here somewhere. Relax. I got her and Kenny both back safely. You're welcome, by the way. I think you have something that belongs to me. There you go. Don't worry. Lee, thank God you're back. Krista, what's wrong? It's Omid. He's gotten worse. Much worse. We have a man wounded. Who's this? This is Vernon. He's a doctor. Oh, thank God. Could you take a look at him? You have to help us. Please. I'll see what I can do. Take me to him. Where's Clem? I, I talked about Clem and... Omid, honey. You're gonna be alright. 
Lee brought a doctor. All right, let's take a look at him. I work better without an audience. I'm sure you have more things of your own to attend to. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Okay, you guys. Clementine? That is going to be it for this episode. I hope you all enjoy. Let me know down below what you think. And as always, folks, have a nice day.